In this video, we will demonstrate general operation, including startup, shutdown, and precautions for your new VAL6 heater. Inspect the unit for damage or leaks. Do not use a damaged or leaky unit. If the VAL6 is being returned to use after seasonal storage, this is a good time to perform some basic maintenance on the unit's fuel filter and flame sensor. Go to NapaHeaters.com for more instructional videos on these procedures. While the unit is cool and unplugged, remove the gas cap and carefully add kerosene or heating oil, no heavier than number two diesel to the fuel tank. Do not use gasoline. When filling the valve six from completely empty tank, a minimum of three gallons and a maximum of 11 gallons may be used. The tank will operate within a nine gallon range, leaving some fuel in the bottom of the tank to avoid drawing contaminants into the burner system. Replace the cap to the fuel tank when fueling is complete, and be sure to wipe off any fuel that may have dripped or spilled onto the exterior of the unit. Locate the valve 6 in a clear, well-ventilated area, free of combustibles or vessels containing combustibles. Face the radiation disc towards the direction you wish to provide heat. While the valve 6 is still unplugged and cool, loosen the knob on the side of the unit and adjust the tilt of the radiation disc to the desired angle, up to 20 degrees. Then tighten the knob to secure the adjustment. Make sure the operating switch is in the off position and connect the valve 6 to a 120 volt 60 hertz grounded power source. When ready, flip the operating switch to the on position to start the valve 6. The first minutes of operation may have an odor as some manufacturing materials are cleared from the system. After this period, only a small puff of smoke should be emitted from the unit at startup. If the burner fails to ignite, return the operating switch to the off position and wait for the run or misfire light to turn off. Then try again to start the unit. Do not attempt to start the heater more than three times in a row without troubleshooting the issue. Further assistance is available at NapaHeaters.com. When you are ready to turn the valve 6 off, flip the operating switch to the off position. The air intake motor will continue to run for about three minutes. Make sure the flame has successfully and completely extinguished before leaving the heater unattended or moving or storing it. For more information and videos, go to NapaHeaters.com. Mm -hmm.